Hey guys, Roby here with the Divi Engine team. Welcome to the Divi Form Builder documentation. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Divi Form Builder form module and the different sections for the settings that you'll find in there. We're going to be skimming over the details here. So be sure to check out the videos on those topics to learn exactly how to use them. Definitely also check out our documentation site at help.divyengine.com for other videos and support articles with more in-depth information on how to use all the features in the Divi form builder not mentioned in this video. And don't worry if you get stuck, just submit a support ticket and our awesome support team will get back to you as soon as possible. Now, if you're ready, let's go. Okay, now, so the Divi form builder allows you to create a bunch of different types of forms from contact forms to registration forms to all sorts of custom post type creation forms. So much that is possible with this amazing plugin. Now, you need to keep in mind that when you look at the settings, that some of the settings may not appear depending on the type of form that you're building. So we only show you the relevant settings to that type of form. That makes it easier for you. You're not fiddling with a bunch of stuff that will have no application on your form. Okay, so now let's start taking a look at these different settings. I'm here in the back end of my Divi install in a page that I created earlier. I don't have anything on the page yet. So let's add a form model. We're gonna select a new row and then it pops up with the insert module prompt. So I'm gonna type in form. And then you'll notice two Divi form builder modules. We've got the form module and the edit post button. We'll be covering the edit post button in a different video. So right now we're just going to click form and that'll open up our form module settings. Now you're right at the top. You're going to see that it's broken down into different sections. We've got firstly the content. So this is everything relating to the content that you'll see on the page. And then we've got the design where you'll be controlling various design elements, but on a little bit more of a generalized scale, if you want to control the styling of individual form fields, you'll be doing that right over here where you add a form field. Now you can add a whole bunch of different form fields to your form and we're constantly expanding these, but I'm just clicking in here really quick. Here you see the type and you can see a whole host of different types of fields you can add. We won't be covering that in this video, so I'm just gonna click back here because all we wanna do right now is talk about what's going on here. So our first section after the form field section is the main options. Here you've got control over things like your form title. So if I make this visual here and I type in Divi Engine Rocks, you'll see that the form title appears up there. Now, like I mentioned, you can control the styling of that text in the design tab. Now you can also put a unique form ID if you so choose. And here's what I talked about earlier, the various form types that you can create. These are the ones we have today, but we are constantly expanding these. So definitely check out updated videos on those if they are not covered in this video. Firstly, we've got a contact form up here, which as it states, you can create a contact form on your site with the features you'll find in Divi Form Builder. You can go ahead and save these to the database. You can sign people up for Bloom registration, newsletter fields, all sorts of stuff you can do. Next up, we've got the create post form for which you can create posts on the site from the front end. You've got the create page form, same thing. You can create pages from the front end of your site. Now you can create more than just these two. We've got the option to add custom post types. So let's say you've got WooCommerce installed. You can actually go ahead and you'll see here that there'd be an option for create products. So you can actually have your clients create products from the front end of the site. That is a huge win. And that goes for actually any other custom post type. They'll all pop in here and your users can create content from the front of the site. That's a game changer. Now, next up, what we've got here is user registration, of course. So you can have your users register through the Divi form builder form, a login form, which allows your users to log into your site. And then also the custom form, which is used for developers to extend the form to whatever functionality they want. We have everybody in mind here, all sorts of uses for the Divi form builder. It's a pretty amazing tool. Okay, so now continuing on through here, you'll see that we've got a few extra options down here, Ajax submission and scroll to form after submission. That is covered in some other articles on the support site, as well as in other videos, so check that out. 
And that actually will go for all these other sections we'll be skimming through right now. But I want to show you what they look like and give you a brief overview of what they are for. First up, we've got our email. Over here, we've got our various email options. We've got email notifications, which controls where emails are sent to, when a form is submitted, what those emails look like, and so forth. Definitely check out the documentation to learn how to use that. Next up, email confirmations. That is, as you would imagine, for confirmation emails. Next up is notices. The VForm Builder allows you to change the default success and failed messages, or you can actually use a Divi layout that can go wherever on the form you really want. So that's really handy. We've got redirects. So after submission of a successful or unsuccessful submission, you can redirect the user to a specific URL. We've got extra options here where we go through saving entries to the database, enabling Bloom subscriptions, as well as select to select options. We've got spam protection here where we utilize two different types of Google reCAPTCHA, the basic math reCAPTCHA you already know from the Divi form, and then also just a honeypot capture field. A lot of ways to prevent spam, and that is pretty much all the different features that you'll find in here. Now, what I just want to make sure you guys also get here is just on the create form that the main options in that main option section, you want to make sure that you set the post default status to create a post. So basically what that means is that if we go here in main options and we say create a post, we want to make sure that the default post status here is set to post. Okay, guys, now I do want to make sure that you understand a couple of details on two of the form types when it comes to the Divi form module. What I want to do is scroll up back here to the top. And if I select here the create post form or most of the create forms, you can actually select the status of that post when it is submitted from the front end. You can see that you can make it published, you can schedule it, you can draft it all sorts of different things. Now, in the real world, you're probably going to want to make sure that this is set to draft because maybe your client or you want to review the items that are being submitted. So keep a note of that regarding create post page or any type of create post forms, okay? And now regarding the user creation form, so the user registration form, we've got this setting called is user edit form. If this Divi form builder form was placed on a user account page, you maybe want to enable this so that there's an edit button on that page for the user to be able to edit those details. Now, the other thing is you can specify, of course, their role when they register for your site. Now, depending on the situation, depending on where this is done, also depends on the different custom user roles you have. You might want to specify a specific user role Probably not a good idea to make that administrator. Okay, and then lastly, I just want to mention one more time all the design settings that apply to the actual form and this text over here. You can set generalized settings for the alignment, the different fields, the form title text, label text, placeholder text, so many different things. You can set right from here, even Bloom settings you can set from here anything relating to the display of your form and the way that it looks. Now, again, your more detailed form-specific settings will be found, if we look here, inside the design tab of the actual field. And we'll only show options to you that are relevant to the topic or the module or the field that you are working with. So as to not confuse you with a bunch of stuff that doesn't apply to you. And that's it for this overview of the Divi Form Builder form module. We looked at a bunch of different settings. Definitely check the video again, as well as the documentation to really get acquainted with this module and the different settings you'll find inside of it. Now, I know we didn't cover everything here, so definitely check out the documentation site at help.diviengine.com for tons of more videos and text articles that are going to help you master the Divi Form Builder. Now, don't worry if you get stuck. Definitely submit a support ticket so one of our support team members can go ahead and help you out with your issue. So guys, that's it from me, Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.